Hey, what's up fam? Welcome back to the channel. So if you are new to Tommy Bites TV, we do encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and turn your notifications on because I will post more than one video day on most days. And if you are returning, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. Let's get into this video. Don't forget to hit that like button because it does let YouTube know that we are here and double check to make sure you are subscribed as YouTube is unsubscribing people from a lot of content creators. So people are asking the question that you see in the title, you know, where am I going to shop now? What am I supposed to do? Those are the questions that are being asked to this community who had absolutely no idea that their grocery store, their community grocery store was shutting down. Let's get into it. So there's nowhere to shop is what the title says. Save a lot at the Broadway market is slated to close. So this is in Buffalo, New York. The Save a Lot inside the Broadway market is one of the few chain grocery stores on the east side, and it may soon be closed. The owner of this particular store, because all stores don't have the same owners, um, they're franchised out, says that his six months, I'm sorry, he's six months behind on rent at the Broadway market. And he's been dealing with rampant shoplifting. You honestly cannot blame the shoplifting on you being late for six months at that store. There's something wrong with um, the management of the funds. Handwritten signs that read store closing were on the front of the store. And many of the shelves were nearly empty. Workers at the store said they were preparing to take on a new job or take on new jobs. Shoppers on Tuesday were just learning the news that their store would close as soon as the end of the week and they were dismayed. So this story came out on June 18th. So at the end of this week, the 21st, I guess would end the week or maybe the 22nd, they will not have a grocery store in their community. Shoppers on Tuesday uh, were just learning of the news that their store would be closing at the end of the week and they were dismayed. It's bad because now the senior citizens don't have anywhere to go. Now they have to bus it or try to get a jetney or whatever it is. You know, they're closing up everything in the neighborhood. They wrote it exactly how this person said it. So it's kind of throwing me off. It's a shame that's happening to us and everybody else is living so big. But the people down this way have been living like this for a minute. Let's see. There's a chance that this isn't a done deal, says the owner and the city officials. They met on Wednesday of last week. The state previously announced $38 million to renovate the Broadway market. So these people are about to not have anywhere to shop, but they're not the only ones that's facing the situation of not having somewhere to shop. Um, many people in many different communities in many different states are also dealing with the same situation when they find that the stores that moved in and moved the mom and pop stores out are now shutting down. So let's just get into it. So we all know about what's going on with the Dollar Tree, but in the family dollar, of course. Well, some of us know. If you don't know, here's a refresher. A family dollar discount variety store that markets brand name products to lower income customers in the U.S. announced in spring that they will be closing almost a thousand of their stores across the country. 600 family dollar stores are set to close in the first half of 2024, as well as about 370 additional family dollar and $30 tree stores once their leases expire. Family dollar maintains stores across Texas, including 12 in Corpus Christi. The company has not stated the impact that the store closures would have on the outlets in South Texas, 
but the news comes amidst continued customer woes of inflation and higher interest rates. Dollar Tree suffered a $70 million loss in inventory and a $47 million loss in property and equipment due to a tornado that destroyed the Marietta Distribution Center in Marietta, Oklahoma in late April of this year. And on May 29th, the company announced that it had acquired 170 of the 99 cent only stores across Arizona, California, Nevada, and Texas. Now, you know the 99 cent stores are also shutting down and they've already started closing down. So where are people going to shop? In March, the company shared news that it would begin offering three, four and five dollar frozen and refrigerated items at more than six thousand five hundred Dollar Tree stores. Then I just told you about the Rite Aid and stuff like that. So here's some news that I did not see. This is breaking news, I guess. Discount grocer Aldi buys two closed 99 cent store locations in Phoenix. So you know that, let me share this with you guys. Hold on. So you know that the 99 cent store is closing up every last one of their stores. They're not leaving that one open. So... Aldi is coming in and say they're going to buy. Let me make sure y'all seeing what I'm seeing. Okay. So popular discount grocer Aldi has bought two storefront formerly owned by the now closed 99 cent store only um, in Central Phoenix and East Mesa. The 99 cent only store announced in April, it will be closing all of its locations nationwide, including about 39 stores in Arizona. The company's interim CEO, Mike, uh, cited several reasons leading to the store closures, including the impact of COVID-19, shifting customer uh, demands, inflation, and lost profit due to loss of inventory or cash due to theft, damage, or administrative errors. The closures leave a gap for shoppers and prime anchor storefronts across the Valley's shopping center. It was not immediately clear which locations will be affected in Arizona. Dollar Tree is expected to reopen stores with its own products in early fall of 2024. Public records filed um, in Maricopa County Recorder's Office show the German-based discount grocer Aldi purchased Two buildings in Metro Phoenix. Aldi purchased a Phoenix building along uh, 12th Street and Northern Avenue in cash for 3.8 million. The in cash, oh Lord. The building sits on nearly three acres and has 26,680 square feet dedicated to the retail store. A second building in Mesa was also purchased for about 3.1 million. The building along Main Street and Greenfield Road is 36,000 square feet and sits on nearly 3.5 acres. Representatives of Aldi did not immediately respond to the questions. Um, in March, the discount chain announced plans to add 800 stores, meaning Aldi is planning to add 800 stores across the U.S. by 2028. Aldi is the only one that's doing things right, I guess, because all these other people shut down and trying to reevaluate everything. And But Aldi is just chugging along, small, but chugging along and taking up what they need to take up. Aldi operates just 12 stores currently in Arizona, all in the Phoenix, Arizona, a 13th location in uh, Tuscan. A uh, Tuxen could be on its way soon. The company was founded in Germany in 1961 and currently operates more than 2,000 stores in 36 states with 25,000 employees. So this places in Arizona that people can now go shop, which is Aldi, since they shut down all of these uh, 99 cent stores. Now, I don't know if you could find everything that you would find in a 99 cent store up in an Aldi and what the prices look like. Um, but as for that first story that I did based in New York, those people are without a grocery store near them. So they're going to have to figure out 
how they're going to go grocery shopping and what that looks like for them in the future. So y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Just wanted to bring you a short story, a short news that hopefully you can use, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can use. My allergies are really bothering me. Thank y'all for coming in. Um, I hope that you watched to the end. If you did, hit a one. And um, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. But first, you need to love yourself because if you can't love yourself, there's no way you'll be able to give or receive love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tony Lights TV and Life. And I will see you in the next video. So turn your notifications on and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And with that, I say, I'll call you. But if your notification's not on, you ain't gonna hear the phone.